and welcome back to another episode. In this video, I want to go over what's known as the Peltzman effect and sort of the law of unintended consequences, in particular with relation to football, seeing as how as when I'm recording this video, it's actually Super Bowl Sunday. Now, with football, there's been quite a controversy or an issue surrounding the brain, brain trauma and injuries that professional football can cause. And there have been many newspaper articles on this, um, even movies made about it. And the end result is that there's actually a lot of parents now who do not want to put their kids into football because of the potential for injury. So the question is, why is this happening and how do you potentially make football safer? And this is kind of where the law of unintended consequences comes into play. Obviously, um, for decades now, there have been constant improvements in helmet technology and just the equipment that players wear in order to play football. So on the surface, you would think this should make football safer. But what it doesn't take into account, or what people didn't take into account, is how, is how football players would respond to all of this extra protection. And the net result is that when when players are wearing helmets and all this padding, they tend to use their bodies, and in particular their heads, as almost like human battering rams or missiles. And so that's why if you compare football injuries to rugby in injuries, obviously rugby is very similar. It's a very physical sport involving tackling, but the players wear um, very little padding and no, uh, no helmets. So as a result, the, the number of, of concussions that a, a rugby player gets versus a football player is much, much less. So as it turns out, because people are wearing so, um, such strong helmets, they're actually increasing their, their risk of, of, brain, of brain trauma or brain issues because they're feeling safer and their behavior changes. And that is, is exactly what the um, Peltzman effect is. Now, Professor Peltzman came up with this idea from actually studying car safety. And what he found was that as you improve um, a car safety with, with various safety features like airbags or anti-lock brakes, etc., those improvements in the safety of the car were negated by how people then behaved. So when you're in a car that feels very, very safe and very secure, um, you tend to drive faster and you take more risks. And this means that people often will get into more accidents and also then potentially cause more injuries to bystanders than would otherwise be the case. And when you think this through, again, this actually makes perfect sense. If I put you into a car and said, okay, you're gonna drive this car, but by the way, there's no airbags, the brakes don't work that well. You can't be sure whether the accelerator is going to work at any one time, etc., etc. You're going to drive this unsafe car in a very, very safe way, as opposed to if I put you into the most modern, advanced car that's just totally safe, then you're just going to go and not think about it. That's why, although he, he it was actually a joke, one suggestion that was made was that if you really wanted to improve um, you know, car safety and and deaths and accidents from cars, you would actually replace seatbelts with a giant dagger in the middle of the steering wheel. Now, obviously, we don't want to do this, but if you, you can imagine if we did do that, the kind of effect it would have. People driving dagger-equipped cars are going to be driving it much safer than people without. Now, all of this is not to say that safety is a bad thing, or that we shouldn't try to make things safer. So I like anti-lock brakes on my car. I still think it's a good idea for football players to wear helmets. Nonetheless, when it comes to regulation and people who just say something and say, oh, there must be a law against that, you have to really be careful because of this law of unintended consequences. And this where an economic law, I think, comes in, in, into play. That when judging the, the results of any action, you have to consider the short-term consequences as well as the long-term consequences. You have to try and see the seen consequences, but also the unseen consequences. And usually when it comes to government regulation, 
they see the short term and the seen, but they totally ignore what the long term is and what the unseen consequences may be. And so it's always important to consider this, whether it was with football or driving or any host of government regulations, because if you don't and you, and you pass a law and don't consider the law of unintended consequences, you can often get results that are the exact opposite of what you originally intended. But that's what I think. I'm very interested in what you have to think. So if you want to leave a comment below, I'll love to read it and comment on it. Other than that, um, if you're interested in my videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. And other than that, thank you for watching and until next time.